That's how the feet look anyway. I thought it would be interesting to show when you're making a shoe, you know, the hard, hardest part when you're making a shoe where the leather folds over the top like that and it's supposed to be attached to a sole on the bottom is sewing the upper to the sole and um, it's the use of a welt. So what I did was I cut out a piece of leather uh, like what the actual sole would be and then I cut the center out, which uh, if I didn't do that, you know, I couldn't get in and sew all the way around like that. So you cut this out and you remove it. And then you, I've glued this in place, by the way, before I removed everything. And then, um, you know, you punch your holes all the way around and sew this in place. And then trim the black leather back so it matches the, uh, the welt. Now, um, when it's all done, you want to fill this all back in again. You'd like to be able to use the piece you just took out, but because it's only one layer of leather thick and I've got two layers here, I'm going to use this as a pattern with some thicker um, leather, something like what we were making holsters out of, um, which should just about accommodate the double thickness. And I'll, so I'll make a new piece out of this and put it in there. And once I get this all sewn on and the new center sewed back in, this will all be tied together in a solid shoe, basically. But of course, you wouldn't want to wear it like that because it would uh, leak. <laughs> but uh, so then you take uh, your new hard sole, which will be this whole thing cut out of the thick leather and glued into place. And then you go around the out outer edge here and you punch your holes through there and and sew it right right on you know it'll be sewn on kind of like that um of course the whole thing then at that point you can uh add your heel which i'm gonna on this particular shoe i'm gonna probably have a um almost an inch heel which uh makes it comfortable for walking and so forth and lasts a long time but that'll just be stacked leather as well. So these will actually be a pair of boots, but doing the uppers, the you know, that's the easy part compared to putting a sole on. And this is my first go at it, so I'm kind of pleased. But you need a, I made lasts for each of my feet, which back in the colonial days, they only had a single last and it was called a straight last. And they'd make the shoe and then you'd break it into your different foot size. Uh -huh. Um, but I thought I'd make two separate ones. <laughs> but I don't know. Does that sound coherent enough to yeah, copy? <laughs> <laughs>